Hi, hi, it's Knee Stitches. Welcome and bienvenue and welcome back to my channel where we are continuing the 13 weeks of gender lean. So, who is it going to be this week? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Find out. Who is it going to be? It is... Tinkerbell! So we are going to go ahead and do the research on her. And I will show you my costume that I have. And let's go ahead and try reworking her. So let's go! Research time. Let's look up Tinkerbell. So, basic green flower dress is what she is. Okay. This is the one I showed you already. I love her little wings. Now, I have a set of wings, but they are not this big. I wonder if I can extend, or am I going to have to remake the wings entirely? Wings entirely. I like this little coat idea. And I would never do this. I am not confident in my body to do full skin. So this will be a full coverage costume. Instagram. And I wanted to pull up my old Tinkerbell costume. So this is my Tinkerbell costume that I have. And I like the fact that it's laced up in the front. The wings are a bit small. Um, and I don't like the yellow trousers that I have with it. So this is, again, an older style costume I still have. And I can show it to you on the mannequin, but it was basically taking an older style silk dress and making it wider and taking the buttons out of the middle and making it more of a vest slash thing. I don't know. It was something I threw together for her. So this is the pattern I made for Rapunzel. Now I can try to take the same thing but make it more asymmetrical and bring the front over a little bit more so that it basically works as like a wrap. And then I can do stitching across the top of it to make it look like leaves. And then maybe either do dry brushing or airbrushing if I can get my airbrush to work. Because I'm not very good at airbrushing. So it might be a new skill that I could learn for this whole adventure. And then the wings. Uh, there is this product right here that you can get at Lowe's. And when light shines through it, it actually makes rainbows on the walls. Because I actually have this in my bedroom. I wonder if I can pick up another roll of that. I think the last time I bought it was only $6 for the roll. So I may have to make a trip to Lowe's just to be able to... One, get the supplies for the wings, because they're going to have to be brand new. And I may have to pick up some, like, armature wire. That's just because this... The wings are essentially not going to be thrifted, unfortunately. But I can probably thrift the rest of the costume. I'm going to have to dig through patterns and... Go ahead and do that off camera and then tomorrow we can go ahead and start going to the thrift shop. Before going to the thrift store, we are allowed to shop from our closets. So let's see what I can find before I spend a lot of money at the thrift store. So let's see.
Okay, so here is the original Tinkerbell with the little wings. Um, and then the yellow pants and the silk dress that I turned into a doublet. Uh, so let's put that off to the side. And I think... Where are my green Renaissance tights? I do have these. They are tight. They're from the for the Renaissance Festival. So I think these will work well for this costume. At least I hope. So put that off to the side. As for shoes, these were the shoes that I used for Tinkerbell. I think they can still work if I paint them green. I will also keep an eye out when we go to the thrift store to see what we can find. So tomorrow and the day after tomorrow are both 50% off of everything at the thrift store. So it may be kind of a headache and kind of a madhouse, but we'll give it a try. So I think these would be a good candidate for Tinkerbell for right now. As for the wig, I'm thinking maybe the Ken wig from the last video that I used may work for this. If not, I'll use the original wig if I can find it. I, again, don't want to spend too much money on wigs. So right now, I think that's all I have. I'll go through my fabric stash and try to pull everything green out. And then see what I have there. I know I have a, a light green sheet that may work for some some of the greens, but I want to find some darker greens as well. Maybe out of fleece or something heavier weight. So maybe look into the blankets and stuff like that to see what I can find. So until we find that out, let's go to sleep because it's late. And I'm tired. Good night. So it's day two of this whole thing and we're gonna go ahead and go to the thrift shop today and see what we can find. Uh, it's not looking so good on weather today. It is supposed to start downpouring here in a few minutes so fingers crossed that we get to go and see what we can find for day two. So, here we go. Well, it's either run through this for the thrift store or wait till tomorrow. Thinking wait until tomorrow. And we did fare the rain, so we decided we're gonna go out anyways. This is everything I got from the thrift store today. I got a light blue tank top and a like mint color hoodie that I'm probably going to use for a cosplay later on down the line. I got two velvet curtains that are green. I got two blue bed sheets that I'm going to use for a blue screen versus a green screen so that I can wear green clothing in front of it. I also got this bed sheet which I don't know what I'm going to do with it but everything at this thrift shop was 50% off today. And I also got a black one just to have some black fabric on hand. But the biggest thing that I got was the new sewing machine that I'll insert right here because it is currently plugged into the living room. I wanted to test it all out. It did need a foot pedal, which I ordered off of Amazon for $18. And the sewing machine only cost me $17. So overall, the whole thing together was $36 for a new sewing machine. Good on that because it was pricey. So rain or shine and by the time we got to the thrift store it stopped raining. So good day too. Let's go ahead and do our concept for this. First things first is I really really want to use the silk from the previous costume. One it gives it that ethereal look that Tinkerbell has where it looks like it's glowing and I really want to use that 
in combination with my tights. So this is the idea that I have, and again, these are always subject to change. End of day two, and I think I'm gonna call it quits for the evening, but I redrafted the pattern that I had from my Renaissance costume, and I think I'm gonna end up having to make a mock-up first before I get into the real fabric that I'm going to be cutting up that dress but I think I think yeah best bet is to make a mock-up I'll just use some scrap cotton that I have do a quick mock-up see how well it looks and then end up probably putting a dart here I'm not sure because I want it to look all pulled to this one side with maybe two to three chunky buttons so I may just take a pleat here and only have two so that it pulls the fabric in I'll do a mock-up and see what it looks like but I'm going to bed okay I know I said I was gonna go to bed but I wanted to see so I took off the skirt off the bottom of the original Tinkerbell and that's the front panel I'd only be able to get two out of the front panel. Probably not even enough for the collar. So, cinch, hold on a second. This synthetic is still within the same color family. So if I use that for the back of it, then I can go ahead and be able to get maybe the collar out of this and the back so there's some unity between the back and the front and maybe i can do some well i'm planning on still doing some brown stick buttons but we'll see this is the biggest piece besides the center back and it's pushing it seriously pushing it so <sighs> Or what if I just made the entire body out of this and then do all the edging and collar out of the expensive silk? I think that'd look good together. I think I'm going to go with this. This for the body, this for the collar, and the edging and stuff like that. At least it's in the same color family, and that'll give it the leaf. Not leaf, but the like expensive texture to this i think that'll work so yeah i think i'm gonna do that did find these shoes in my closet that i forgot about and i may just use those for tinkerbell i also found a piece of copper tubing that was being thrown away so i think that's gonna be the support for the wings i'll make a pocket for the back of the vest to hold up the wings and I think that'll work the best. That way I can take the wings out and put it back in as well. So welcome to day three. I am a little bit under the weather and I think it has to do with something that I ate last night. So I'm gonna take it pretty easy today. I have to go to Walmart to get some bobbins and some milk. So, might as well have two birds, one stone. And I did a little bit of sewing before I filmed this. Not much, because I want to get an idea out of my head and let you know, to let you guys see what I have an idea for this doublet style thing. So, let me show you what it looks like. And I think this is the direction that I'm going to go in. So, let's check that out. This is the idea that I have. I'm going to take the scrap silks that I have and make these lace leaves for covering up these buttonholes and maybe even put some underneath the arms eye right here as a sleeve cap to make it look more leafy. I do have an idea to add in... I do have an idea to add in some real fake leaves, but I don't know how that's going to work out. 
I kind of just like the silk leaves by themselves and just do random, random shapes. Obviously those are not going to be right there. I'm going to scatter them throughout. So I'll probably have to make at least 20 to 30 per side and then a couple for the, the arms eyes up here. But I think that's the direction I'm going to go with and maybe use that greeny blue tank top that I got from the thrift store underneath it with the green tights and I think this is going to be good to go for the doublet. I still need to buy the poster board which I could probably get at Walmart. The poster board and the wrapping paper for the wings and I'm, since I'm going to Walmart here in a minute um, I'm going to go ahead and get that there. So versus the dollar store, I know it's going to be more expensive, but due to my health right now and this, I kind of want to get this done, but I'm also taking it easy. So off to Walmart, then we'll continue sewing these. This will probably be it for today. Uh, so when I come back tomorrow to show y'all all the sewing of the leaves that I've been doing all day long. So. A little bit. wing portions cut out four of these two of those two of those and i still need to find the plastic that goes in between it which i'm going to go to the dollar tree tomorrow or target wherever i can find it it's just that the plastic sheeting that needs to go in between that's iridescent-y i'll go ahead and try to find that and then do the iron trick technique and then i'm gonna have to figure out how to attach this thin spine 
to the actual support that I had bent out. I don't know if that's actually going to work, but that's what I've gotten done so far. I still need to do the alterations on the bottom of the doublet. I have put the little leafy things on there. They're not sewn on, but they are all pinned. And I'm starting to like this with the one closure. And then I'll try to stick some, before I sew everything on, go up on the inside, add some more interfacing to the collar so that it stays up more. And yeah, it's coming along. So welcome back to day four of this Tinkerbell adventure. I have a lot to do today. I have to put the leaves down the front of the doublet. I have to finish the rest of the projects on my list, which at the moment I can't remember what that list is until I actually look at it. So enough dawdling, but maybe another cup of coffee. Let's go. I made a discovery that I could not use the original copper tubing that I bent to begin with for this, so I decided I was just going to destroy the original wings and take the wire out of that. This is basically how I completed the wings using tape, normal packing tape, taped it down to a flat surface and then slowly peeled up the edges so that I could get to the wings themselves. Do be careful pulling the tape off the surface so you're not going to rip the poster board that you did with your Cricut machine because it is quite fragile and very delicate. I wanted to have the other wing next to me as I was working so that I can see if I am doing the correct wing because I am doing the mirror image of the previous wing. So I started off by cutting a little bit of the tape around the outside just to smooth out the top. I then add a little notches throughout the whole piece so that I could secure the wire in place before placing it down onto the iridescent cellophane so that it basically sticks down smooth and clear. I did have a lot of bubbles in this because putting it down was kind of tricky as it does have a static electricity type field over it from the tape. It wants to attract itself to the cellophane so do be careful putting it down so that it does not stick with a wrinkle in it. Again I did have some bubbling but as you can see right here is how I attached the wire. I bent it into position before putting it down. Then I wrapped the edge of the tape over the top of the wire to secure it in place. I then went back later on and did the same thing after I glued down the cellophane to the tape. And then I wrapped a little bit of clear tape over the edge just to secure it some more. thickness of your cellophane it's generally like a very 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 thin cling film wrap that it does not have to stick to it but it does have a lot of static electricity so as I'm putting it here I am basically rolling it down over the edge and have a credit card or some kind of plastic card ready to smooth out any bubbles but smooth it out to the best of your ability and then tap it in place gets out most of the wrinkles unfortunately I did get a lot of bubbles but you can fix that with a little bit of a pin later on and just let the air out like I did with the video when I did my desktop Right here I'm basically just trying to thin down my tape so that it can go over the edge of the wire itself. Again securing the cellophane with the wire encasing it on the inside so that it gives it a cleaner edge and something you cannot snag on. So again I'm just going to cut some notches in it and then roll it over the edge so it goes around the corner and the curve a whole lot better.
After doing the same thing to all four wings, I'm just using some white duct tape to attach the wires together in a U shape. I did some research and a lot of the videos I've seen have the same style of shape that's supposed to be tucked into a corset. However, I don't plan on wearing a corset with this costume. So with the wings being the way they are, I'm going to have to make something. I did a duct tape mock-up so this harness could fit me exactly. So I came up with this. I'm going to make this out of fabric, but I did it as duct tape, a little harness thing. that's going to go underneath the doublet and house the center part of the wings. And I'll just do a buttonhole where this is going to eventually sit. So I have to make this first so I know where to put the buttonhole. So I'll make this and then go from there. So here's the harness complete. I did a little bit of spin test to see if the wings would survive, and they did. So here's the buttonhole. I have the wings put together. I have the hem done. Interfacing didn't really help all that much, so I guess I'm a little late on that. I should have used a thicker interfacing, but oh well. And I still have to put all the leaves down the front, and maybe I'll do the ones on the sleeve, I'm not sure. But Tinkerbell is coming along, so hopefully I can get it done. So it's day five! You know what that means! I gotta go ahead and do the, all the editing, and then show you the reveal. And then basically do the recap. So, without further ado, here's the reveal. Come on, everybody, here we go! So I hope that you enjoyed my rendition of Tinkerbell. Um, this again is part of the recap. So things that I would change, obviously I would change the shirt out. It was a last minute throw together because I didn't know what to put underneath and I ran out of time. But uh, hubby says that the palm trees plays into Tinkerbell because they're on the island. I went with it anyways, so I put all the leaves down the front. Uh, I can't wait till I wash it because I want them to actually fray and look a little bit more natural. So I added the little clasp on there at the last minute to keep the whole coat together. What I would have changed is the interfacing. I would have used a stiffer interfacing so that the collar stood up more and I don't know. I really just wanted to use the silk because I love this color silk and I wanted it to basically, I wanted it to stay, to tell you the truth. I love the silk so much. Um, I am going to have to later on look for a different shirt to go underneath it because I don't like showing my body for cosplay. And you have to be comfortable in what you're wearing. You have to know what your limits are and what you can and cannot do to be comfortable. Plus, you also, you have to like what you're wearing. Because if you don't like what you're wearing, what's the point of wearing it? So, yeah. I think this is a good version for a good second version. Again... This is what Tinkerbell used to look like, and this is now what he looks like. So, if this is the type of content that you're interested in, remember to like, share, subscribe, and come back next week where we do another version of a cosplay for 13 weeks of Genderween. <laughs> Juicy!